Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of styling your style cues, your style questions. Um, I'm super excited to film this one. I feel like it's been kind of a long time coming because I've been getting this question kind of scattered throughout my videos and I'm very excited to finally be making this video. As you guys know by the title, this episode will be covering tights, pattern tights, solid tights, colorful tights, neutral tights, how I like to style tights. And I'm making it more fall inspired because as we all know, it is now fall. Fall is here. Tomorrow when I'm filming this is October 1st. So I'm very excited. Spooky season is almost here. Even though I love the idea of Halloween, but I feel like it's just way more stressful than it needs to be. And I'm truly struggling to make my costume idea come to life currently. Anyways, I brought up from my basement all of my like winter fall coats and I kind of rearranged them at my coat rack. It's so fun. I'm like, oh, miss you guys. I honestly found one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses in the pocket of one of my winter coats and I thought I lost the glasses. So that was a very happy moment for me. Um, anyways, yeah, so we're doing tights today. I have the first outfit on. You guys might recognize it from one of my Instagrams that I posted recently, but I wanted to show it to you guys because it's one of my favorite layered looks that i put together um and it was inspired by a photo on pinterest so i obviously want to like give that photo some credit shout it out and also kind of explain maybe a little bit how i put it together with the clothing that sorry i just nudged you with the clothing that i own but yeah this is how i style tights for the fall winter and all of that layering I feel like the perfect outfit to me has like a lot of like layering components and patterns and colors and textures and stuff like that so i feel like tights are definitely like a key accessory that i definitely take advantage of a lot when it comes to adding more detail or color or pattern or a little extra oomph to an outfit and they're comfortable and they keep you warm in the winter not like crazy mounts but they definitely help because it's you know that extra layer of skin you know what i'm saying i'm going to link all the tights that i mentioned in the outfits that are shoppable some of them aren't i've either like thrifted them or bought them at like a weird store or like halloween party store party city whatever i actually recommend that i also recommend like sex shops and things like that with like all those outfits and fun little crazy things honestly they have really cool tights and little garters and socks and high socks knee socks little fun things like that for super cheap yeah they might not be like the best quality they probably aren't but for something that's maybe like a statement or say you're wanting to like try it out i feel like maybe find a cheaper option to see like how you'd maybe style it or if you like it and all of that i don't know but that's where i've gotten some of them but most of them are shoppable so i'm gonna link a ton i also made a list for you guys of other places that i like to look or browse for tights um that i may not own tights from but that i love so places like the birthday shop ashley william Ashley Williams London what else fancy club I do want a pair of tights from them but like they have amazing other tights dynamic is one of my favorite places to get tights so yeah check the description um, if you're wanting to shop some tights after this but yeah let's just get into the first outfit outfit number one so we're in my living room now I thought I literally it was so hard to show the full outfit in my room now I feel like I can definitely use my living room space a bit more to do outfit videos and inspo and stuff like that because I feel like you can actually see the outfit a little bit more and with these outfits I'm showing you tights so it's like you gotta see the leg portion if you film me for this outfit I basically I've had this photo on Pinterest that I've been obsessed with for so long um it's this photo here she is I loved that photo for so long and I've always wanted to put together like a look that was pretty similar or whatever I love the belt I really want a belt like that I thought the layering was so good and the shapes and the textures and the color so I was like okay maybe this could be something I could do when styling these shoes and basically I can say it now because I'm sure the photos will be done me and Rose at Madison were shooting for Jeffrey Campbell which was beyond exciting so this was the look that I shot these shoes in and these are the coolest mules i've ever seen in my life they're so sick so this is the outfit i styled them in my cross that also kind of had that plum color in it this skirt by fleur a that also kind of has that color in it you know like the side panel and stuff like that so i don't know i thought 
I could put together some pieces that would work using the Pinterest photo as inspo, kind of create the same vibe. So this is what I came up with. I started with the belt. I knew I wanted to do a cool tight and I knew these tights had navy in them. I knew I wanted to do like a corset top moment. I didn't want to do a strapless corset. This is like one of the only corsets I have with straps. So I ran with navy and I just, the, the outfit grew from there. I knew I needed like a white blouse, little seventies kind of top with the collar really like drove it home for me. I loved it and I put my bolo tie with it today styling it because it broke before the shoe but I fixed it kind of and then my fur hat brought some texture into it brought some height and it balanced everything out because there's a lot going on everywhere and I feel like I needed something on my head and really make it look like a look you know what I'm saying the tights are Maison Sulkski and I thought they mimicked kind of like the heart spiral of sorts in the shoe so I thought I knew that was gonna happen. It's so slippery wearing the tights with them. The repeated heart throughout. It's definitely funky. I feel like when it comes to the shoes, um, you could switch them out and do like a cowgirl boot moment. These boots that I got from Salvage Angel, cute. I love like the toe of them and how kind of like witchy they look. I don't know what about this outfit gives me witch, but it does. And the toe is just like scrumptious. I love how pointy it is and sassy and i love wearing pants with these boots because the boots a pant moment is everything when like a pant will like billow out on a boot perfectly and show just the tip of the shoe and just the tip of the heel like it's so hot and like gorgeous and like sexy and kind of badass i don't know i'll try to find a picture of like a good boots pant ratio moment all three of these tops i thrifted belt i also thrifted Bolo tie thrifted from Vivant Vintage in Alton, Massachusetts. Cross Depop thrifted the pearl string. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thrifted the hat from Cure Thrift. I don't know. I feel like this outfit is really attainable when it comes to just like playing around with pieces you already probably have, but maybe in different colors and shapes and textures and stuff. And so it's fun to see like what kind of other pieces people can put together in like following the same pattern and see how different it can come out just depending on the pieces that you own. And that's what I really like about Pinterest and finding inspiration on Pinterest is like for me, I never want to like copy the look or buy exactly what they're wearing, but like just kind of challenge myself to make the same kind of vibe or same layering pattern. If it's just like, I don't know what to wear today and then I see a cute picture of a girl wearing like a tank top, low waist trousers, sneakers, and then like a cute little like blouse with a baseball cap or something i'm like oh okay like i'll throw on like i'll do like a pant look with a sneaker and then throw on like a baggy tee and a baseball cap like you know what i'm saying it, it helps like turn a light bulb on for some ideas of what to wear when you don't know where to start is all i'm saying okay let's do outfit two sorry if the angle changed i had to take off my camera and adjust something and then put it back on but here is look two um this is one of my favorite dresses i own as you guys know um, we're rocking a prairie dress. Thank you to whoever commented that on two of my videos ago, three of my videos ago. I was like literally blinking on the style of dress this was, but choose a prairie moment. Um, this was sent to me by the Sage Vintage. I almost didn't want to put the vest over it because I just like love all the detail and I love how it just like speaks for itself so well. But again, I have worn this dress in the past with just boots and a fur hat so I wanted to do something a little bit different so I added the vest and these sunnies and the tights that I'm wearing are super cute they are just these kind of like white um a little bit sheer tights I really like the detail on them so they have this like thin little landscape it's um a palm tree with the sun and water these tights I found at 10 feet single there was a whole section of like painted on things um I'm not sure who whose work it was. Um, there's no like name on these tights or anything, but I'm not sure if Tim Beat Single still sells their things, but that's where I found them. Um, and yeah, they're great tights. Again, I think this detail is so cool. I love wearing them with dresses. They're super warm, super comfy, and I feel like they look cute with the boots that I'm wearing. Let me try to back you up maybe a little bit more. They're Steve Madden, they're gorgeous. They come up to like the perfect length on these tights where you can still like see the detail and everything and yeah i love them and i think the camel color really brings in kind of like the camel color in the hat and then the leather vest brings out kind of like the deeper camel same with the lexola sunglasses that i'm loving right now i think 
they're so cute and the colors go really well with outfit hat i thrifted vest i also thrifted this dress it's a little bit sheer so like you definitely do need tights um but i also wore it with my little pantaloons my fringe lampshade pantaloons so i would even maybe put these on over the tights as well just for extra coverage and comfort and maybe warmth um if it's chilly out but yeah these are super cute to wear as well the hat that i wore this dress with initially was this hat and i just wanted to show you guys if it was winter i would need to be wearing gloves and a huge jacket and be like don't look at me vibes it's very hard to wear a cute layered outfit without a huge coat and stay warm i'm not even gonna lie like yes layering is key you're often going to have to compromise the cuteness of your outfit when you're walking around outside new york city for warmth because it gets really fucking cold and the wind gets really bad i'm just saying deep in the winter time so this is why this is fall to me so cute i want to make sure you guys get the detail of the tight i feel like i'm like <laughs> backing it up in my prairie dress that is look number two with tight number two okay look three three so this outfit a little out of my comfort zone with the oversizedness of it all i don't really wear oversized tops and oversized bottoms like a sweatshirt and sweatpants or an oversized t-shirt and baggy jeans it's like i never try to make a fit out of the whole outfit being oversized but i definitely want to like push myself to get to that point styling like baggier clothes with each other because i feel like it's really cool and i'm into it these glasses again i wear these all the time they're the glasses <laughs> My sister bought um for halloween one year in high school and i took them from her room and i was like i like these can i wear these and she was like yeah you can have them now i wear them for style all the time um and then this hat is crushed velvet really pretty like old 50s maybe even 20s vintage little hat that i got at a vintage store i feel like it's like very girly and pretty and feminine um whereas like the rest of it because it's like an oversized vibe i don't know i thought it looked cool um and then this shirt is one of my favorite shirts that i'm wearing it's like fully sheer except for this whole boo panel like it's sheer in the back it's such a gorgeous shirt the buttons on it you can see are like supposed to look like diamonds i thought it was cool to do instead of like a plain button up to kind of do the one with pleats and the cool buttons and things like that also mixing kind of like this like glamorous classy like feminine vibe with like the oversized kind of like schoolboy energy um and so i left that open wore this cardigan that i actually bought in washington square park when somebody was doing like a closet sale which is really cool my friend maddie actually just did that and i need to talk to her and ask her how it went because that's definitely something i feel like i would want to do but anyways that's besides the point so yeah i got this really cool sweater at the park and it's definitely oversized and super fun again i really like wearing this with like super girly things so i wore it with my betsy johnson foil dress here and yeah i also really like wearing this sweater with these sax pots tights it has green and yellow and i really like wearing them together i like the matchiness of it all and then mixing in a ton of other stuff black pleated skirt from banana republic that i recently thrifted i actually just got these cowgirl boots from beacon's closet literally yesterday they're black with like green detailing and they have a heart with a skull in it and then another heart on the toe i love them and yeah i think they're cool like even though the green's not the exact green in the outfit Sometimes I like that when you're doing kind of like a mix matched look um, when you keep the same colors but maybe the shades are a little bit different uh, and then it does have the red pop which I tried to pull out from the tights into the shoes and into the glasses. Um, ideally I would like have some sort of like necklace on or like diamond earring to make it super extra and like even funnier but I don't have that. Um, could potentially do like a red lip with this and then put my hair in a bun or something could be cute or i don't know definitely play with like the styling with it um but i do not have time to change hair looks for each of these outfits <laughs> but yeah i don't know i think it's really cute and i like it a lot i feel like i'll definitely wear this oh and then the tights in terms of like shopping these tights i found them on depop they were like a collaboration so i don't think they're really being sold i'll try to find the depop posting and see what the actual title was um and i'll put it right here a moment 
for this sweater. I bought it at Beacon's Closet the other day. The little nipples. Why is that so perfect? I'm wearing my, this like crochet bra underneath it to keep the orange theme going. So fucking funny. Like why is that so perfect to me? Anyways, I had to have it. Okay, here's the fit. I put this together so randomly. These tights, I'm not sure exactly where I got them. My mom found them for me. I think it was from a brand in like Italy. I'm not sure, but I will try to hunt it down and find it for you guys. And then the shoes are Steve Madden. Um, they're these fabulous heels. They're clearly supposed to look like Manolo Blahniks. I'm almost positive, but can't afford those. And Steve Madden is so kind to send me these. So I love the orange. It matches perfectly with the tights, the orange pop in the tights, and then the skirt goes perfectly. I love this little detail here. I think it's so fun. I maybe thought this jacket could be cute if I'm making it fall winter vibes. Um, because I was trying to figure out like what jacket would I wear with this? Like it's kind of cute with like an orange bag like maybe like my Chow Bella. This could be a little look. I don't know. It's so fucking comfortable. Like I could dance in this outfit. I'm literally obsessed with this shirt. Are you kidding? Fabulous. Y'all might be mad at me for this one. <laughs> I don't know why I love it. But I do. Skirt. I did the red at first. Wasn't loving it. I feel like the blue goes better because this jacket has darker blue tones to it. Thought it matched really cool. I did this belt that I bought on Amazon to be Barbie one year for Halloween and I wear it for fashion all the time now. Um, this little scarf, that's fun. This little sparkly top from the brand One Listness. These neon pink tights, I forget what store I got them at but I bought them with my pink swirly ones. I'm gonna have to look into that, but these you can get at Party City anywhere. They're so neon, they're way more neon than I thought they were going to be when I first bought them, and I've never actually worn them. So that's why I was like, okay, I wanna do something crazy with these and have some fun. The Crocs! I wanted to add a little frilly white sock to bring in the white hat. That's unfortunately, it's from Amazon. I'll link it below. It's a great hat. Once I can afford an Emma Bruin hat, I will get one, but I unfortunately need to settle for this for now but the crocs platform crocs um ruffle sock also amazon god i'm the worst and obviously i'm just gonna sit down because i i want to this outfit is so trying to be cult form a little bit it's a little crazier a little bit more cartoon character than cult form but cult form here's an example of a tight so it's like the colorful tight with like the cool belt so it's like colorful tight cool belt moment and they have skirts that kind of look like this it's like more of like a um what are these skirts called a circle skirt oh my god remember when those were so trendy stop it got a little crazy i know it did the trench i thrifted from salvage angel as well it's my favorite jacket at the moment i think it's so fun and cool i wear it to work all the time Okay, that was my crazy one. Okay, so this next outfit is more of like a going out tights look. And I feel like these fancy club tights are like such an essential going out piece for me. I feel like they're so cute. They give a little bit more coverage when you feel like you need it. Like this skirt is particularly so short. And I just feel like these tights make me feel a little bit more covered, a little bit more comfortable. I think they're still selling these exact tights on their Depop. They're a fancy club. Um, let me actually check, let me see. So I don't see any of these tights on their website, but a lot of people are reselling fancy club, like pieces that they bought that doesn't fit them or that they don't want anymore. But there are things like these, like pieces like these that are really cool and really similar. So yeah, I feel like the vibe of these tights, definitely check out fancy club because they have a lot more pieces that are in the same style that's like kind of their vibe so definitely check them out the two piece is tora lily i don't know if i've said that yet uh i love tora lily with all my heart her pieces are so amazing so check out her as well it's like a tank top um and then skirt and it has the slit the leather jacket i bought when i was in paris abroad let me see the brand brandy's cowhide hate that um yeah this is definitely real leather it was thrifted though, so yeah, that's all I'm saying. And then I threw on my baseball cap just to make it a little bit different and fun, but this hat says Degreek on it and I got it off of Depop. 
and I love it. Also brought out these two sunnies that I feel would be cool to wear with it. These like silver ones especially. I think would be cool. Okay. Okay, this look I thought I was getting worried because I was like, fuck, like I don't have any black tights. Like I was like, I feel like I should do a look with black tights, but then I found these heart ones and I have no idea where I got them from. But I was like, okay, cool. I'll do a look with these. I have like little hearts on them. Um, and I'm wearing my Harley Davidson like little platform loafers, this little slip dress. And I feel like wearing tights with slip dresses um, definitely makes them a little bit more fall winter and then putting on like a big winter coat. Like I love the look of a little tiny slip dress with a big ass winter coat. Like there's something so cute about that. It's giving very much like going out in the city because that's what we would all do. Like we'd literally be lugging our winter coats and then our little clubby dresses. So I don't know, there's something so like fun and flirty about an outfit like that. So I think this is fun, this little slip dress. I proofed it a while ago, I'm not sure where it's from, but I think it's cute because it has black and browns in it. So it's fun to mix the black with the um, tights and the shoes and then the dark brown jacket. There's also a lot of browns in the fur hat. I flipped it around so the gray side doesn't show as much and it's more the brown. This brown jacket is from Leo Pora on Depop. I'll link her Depop and I'll put it right here. But she is such a good Depop. I bought this jacket and then the jacket I threw on with this sweater with like little nipple flowers. That jacket I threw on with that outfit is also from her Depop. And I got an amazing deal and bought them both together for a little bundle. This is the look. I realized I didn't have the ring light on at all for that clip. And now I'm worried maybe I forgot to turn on for other clips, but also the lighting isn't that bad. So it's actually kind of cute. I might keep this. It's this versus this. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you like better. I'm gonna go with off just cause I kind of like the warm, warmer tones and so that I can see a little bit better. This look is definitely funky. Um, I didn't know what direction to really take these tights in. I've worn them so that it's kind of like, not monochromatic, but same exact colors. Like with this dress, I'll put the photo there. Like that was very like browns and neutrals and things like that, um, which was super cute and I really liked it. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. I know I wanted to wear my Kangle hat with it because that kind of like sand color is also in the tights. And then I pictured like just doing like a hat blazer tight moment. And I thought that could be really chic and cute. But then obviously like this blazer isn't big enough to cover. So then I had to put my pantaloons and then I had to put something underneath. Um, this top I think is cool. It has a little bit of the brown and tan in it. It's not like ideal for this look. Um, definitely like a work in progress, but I think it's kind of cool. I wore the bolo tie with it just cause I feel like the strings have like that perfect kind of like checkered vibe to the tights. And I think it definitely looks cool. And then for shoes, I was kind of at a loss for shoes, but I just wore like the Steve Madden boots again. Definitely something I like about this look, but there's definitely, you know, more that needs to be done and thought about, but I think it's cute. These tights are from Dynamic, an amazing brand. I think the tights are only 30 bucks, which is amazing. Um, and yeah, they're super cute. Okay, hi guys. When I said that trench coat one was my crazy one, um, make it now one of my crazy ones. Um, I really like this outfit. I feel like if I was a senior in college now, I would literally go study in this. This gives me, I don't know. It's like the cardigan with the sweater. There's something about these biker shorts with the orange tights that I'm obsessed with. I love wearing them together. And then this self pole sweater was just screaming at me. Like it's giving a price ski. I wanna get cuter white boots. These are Steve Madden. I think they're cute, but I feel like there's something awkward about them. I know this is insane. I'm not 100% obsessed with this, but I do like it. This is for you only USA, baby grin chat. This sweater, this sweater I thrifted. These I thrifted. These tights are from Party City of sorts. Some Halloween store. Boots Steve Madden. Yeah, with like your big work bag, it's just like you can't not be in a good mood wearing an outfit like this. Like, oh, I'm going to study for three finals, but I'm in a happy outfit. So it's going to be a good day. You know, that's the energy. It's combining a ski, I'm going to study with psychedelic, doesn't know how to dress, 
toddler cartoon character. Okay, so the last look is styling these pink twirly tights. And these are the tights in addition to like those neon pink ones that I'm not exactly sure which shop I got them at, but I will try to find them. Um, these are them. And I'm just wearing them under this white kind of sheer slip dress that I've worn a bunch for you guys. Um, it's like the lacy one. And I'm just wearing like a white tank top underneath it. And then this cool knit top that Maddie made me. Her Instagram is Moon Glass. She does like custom knitted pieces. She's awesome. So definitely check her out. But this is the look. I'm also wearing my Crocs with it because the mint in the top was too perfect. And I love finding ways to wear my Crocs. I love my chunky Crocs with like a little slip dress. I think it's so cute. I know it's not very fall vibes, but I wanted to wear them. Um, and then my little pom-pom hat that I got from Depop. I just think this is cute and fun and, and colorful and it pops. Very lightweight and stuff. So it's good for like a sunny fall day and things like that. But yeah, this was the last look. Okay, you guys. So that was my video styling tights for you all. I hope it gave you some inspo or, or that you just enjoyed watching the video. It was super fun to film and put these outfits together for you guys. Um, I put together a list of all the tights and brands that I've mentioned as well as more that I feel like you guys would like and brands that have really cute tights and things like that. So definitely check the description if tights are something that you guys wanna get into for the fall, winter, and you wanna shop and browse around. I also linked Cult Form. They have more like leggings slash biker shorts but i feel like they do the same trick so i link them as well and you guys know i love them and i'm dreaming of getting a couple pairs of their leggings tights etc so yeah i linked them um and linked other like small brands and people that i've mentioned throughout the video but yeah as always dm me if you have any questions let me know what other fall content you guys want to see from me as well if there's anything in particular thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed sending you guys all my love i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day evening night whatever it may be and i'll see you in my next video okay I'm gonna put them on. I just it. okay